Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disso. Today I'm going to be comparing two four core, eight thread CPUs from Intel and AMD. The Intel i5-9300H is a 14 nanometer chip with a TDP of 45 watts, a base clock of 2.4 gigahertz and a max boost of 4.1 gigahertz, whilst the AMD Ryzen 3750H is a 12 nanometer chip with a lower 35 TDP and similar clock rates of 2.3 gigahertz base and 4 gigahertz boost. Now on paper, they should perform very similar, but if you had watched my recent comparison of the i5-9300H GTX uh, 10, 1650 versus the Ryzen 730-750H RX 5500M in the Nitro 5 and the Alpha 15 respectively, you will have seen that it looked like the Ryzen CPU was holding the GPU back a bit. Because as we lowered quality settings, the weaker GTX 1650 was allowed to catch up and even overtake the RX 5500M. Now in this video, I compare the same two systems, but just the CPU tests this time. First up is Cinebench R15. It's a relatively short test, but it's a quick way of measuring single thread and multi-thread performance as it renders an image. For some reason, the single thread score of the 3750H was very low, 124 points versus 171 on the 9300H. That is a 38% difference. Allowing all 8 threads to render the image closed the gap to a 4% lead for the 9300H, so that's not too bad. The problem with this test though, it takes a few runs for performance to degrade. Citybench R20 does take more time to render, and as such the CPU clock speed will drop for down further as the test progresses. Here, we see the 9300H beat the 3750H again. This time, the single thread performance was more respectable, so on average, about an 8% gain for the 9300H. The 7-zip benchmark measures the speed for both compression and decompression, giving a rating in million instructions per second. The Intel i5-9300H was much faster here, some 33% faster, so if your workload does involve lots of zip files, you may want to skip the 3750H. Moving on to Adobe Premiere Pro, where I do a software encode of a 1080p video using H.265 codec and measure the time taken. Here, the Ryzen 7 3750H performed great, finishing in 28 minutes 38 seconds versus 32 minutes 22 seconds for the 9300H, and that is 12% faster. Another program that is widely used is Handbrake. It is multi-threaded and it loves clock speed. Converting one video file to another is very popular, and here I convert a 4GB 1080p M2 TS file to MP4 using H.264 and measure the time taken. For the Intel CPU, um, I use QuickSync and for AMD, the VCE encoder. Both take over 40 minutes, but the 9300H ends up being 5% faster, which isn't too much quicker. The Blender 2.8 benchmark is multi-threaded and measures the time taken to render an image. You can choose to either use the GPU or CPU to do the test, so I choose the CPU. The 9300H completes it in 119 seconds versus 144 seconds for the 3750H. This is a 17% improvement. Finally, we test Corona 1.3, another program that uses the CPU to render an image and measure the time taken. Unfortunately, we see the same situation here, the 9300H finishing 20% faster than the 3750H. Here is a summary chart comparing the percentage difference between the 9300H and the 3750H. Apart from that uh, Adobe Premiere Pro test, the 9300H was consistently faster, both in multi-threaded and single-threaded workloads. On average, it was 13% faster than the 3750H. Now it is rumoured that AMD will launch their Ryzen 4000 mobile CPUs early 2020, and I for one am looking forward to it, as in the desktop space they are killing Intel. We just need more competition for laptops. I'd like to thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.